My name is Janine and I'm the bilingual youth librarian with the Midland Li at the Midland Library with the Multnomah County Library and I'm so excited to share this story with you today. It's called The President of the Jungle and it's very timely for this time because as you may know there is an election coming up and this story is written and illustrated everybody's listed together <laughs> so I don't know who did what by Andre Rodriguez, Larisa Ribeiro, Paula Desgaldo, and Pedro Marcun. And this story was actually originally published in Brazil, and it's trans translated from Portuguese by Lynn Miller Lockman, and published by Nancy Paulson Books. Are we ready to hear about the President of the Jungle? Hey, what happened to our river? What do you think happened to the river? Lion wanted a swimming pool. So, because he was king of the jungle, he rerouted the river to flow into his front yard. Now, he had his pool. Hmm, well, some animals are hanging out in the pool, right? And there's Lion with What's that on his head? A little crown, huh? It's ridiculous. Lion only thinks of himself. We have no water. My children are thirsty. Let's protest. The other animals were not happy. They missed their river. Lion had gone too far. Maybe he should not be king of the jungle. What if we had a new leader? The animals decided to have a demonstration. They marched to Lion's swimming pool to protest. Water is for everyone. Occupy the jungle. Hashtag occupy the jungle. Say no to the lion's pool. Give back our river. This king needs to go. But Lion couldn't care less what they thought. Look at Lion, just chillaxing. So the lions decided it was time for a new leader. No more kings. Let's be a democracy. Let's hold an election. What's an election? Do you all know what an election is? Let's find out. Let's see, Owl's gonna explain it. In an election, anyone who wants to be the leader can become a candidate and put together a campaign. Each animal gets to vote for the leader. The candidate who gets the most votes becomes president. Now you may see that some of the words are in bold. There's actually gonna be a glossary at the end of the story and it has further explanations on what all these vocabulary words mean. Everyone liked the idea, so they drew up rules for this election. Rules for the election. We will hold an election every spring, so every year, any animal can be a candidate. Each animal gets one vote. Votes are a secret. The candidate with the most votes wins and candidates cannot trade gifts for votes. That's like if I gave, if I gave you candy or something in order for you to vote for me. The candidates cannot eat their opponents. Monkey? Sloth and Snake were excited to become candidates. Lion didn't want to be left out, so he became a candidate too. Then the campaigns began. That lion's got some nerve. Look at Lion, all fancy schmancy. All right, let's see what the campaigns say. King of the jungle, vote for Lion, VP. Does anybody know what VP stands for? It means vice president. And VP is lioness. My beloved subjects, I descend from a long line of kings. It was my cherished great-great-grandfather who expelled the smelly possums so the rest of us could live in peace. Sounds a little problematic. 
Um, I provided jobs to the animals who diverted the water from the river to build my swimming pool. If something is not broken, do not fix it. For tradition, vote for a lion. It's time for change. Monkey for president, VP toucan. It's time for lion to go. The king is sneaky and is as slippery as a rotten banana peel. He said we could all swim in his pool and now we can't. Under my leadership, everything will be different and we will build burrows and homes for everyone. No more lies. Monkey for president. She doesn't just promise, she delivers. Snake for president. VP, mouse. Oh, did I say monkey's VP is toucan? Sorry. I am a popular snake. I grew up in the jungle with all of you. I've crawled through burrows and nests getting to know you. We have faced the great drought together and we have survived fires and hunters. You, you know I will be there for you. Vote for snake. Make your vote count. Choose me, sloth for president, VP ladybug. My fellow animals, it is time to plan our future together. I want to hear from all of you. And please don't judge me by my name. I am not lazy. I don't rush because good government does not happen overnight. With patience, we will make the jungle better for everyone. Vote for sloth. Now, who would you vote for? Hmm, should we look through the candidates again? So there's sloth with VP ladybug. There's snake with VP mouse. That's kind of cool, right? That snake is friends with mouse. Monkey with VP toucan. Or lion with the VP lioness. What do you think? Let's see what happens in this story. All right. Each candidate got busy trying to convince the voters why they would be the best leader. They went on TV. They took selfies with voters. They handed out pamphlets and discussed the issues. They held rallies. Some said wild things about the other candidates. They put up posters and discussed more issues. They had debates to talk about their ideas. Snake, how would you solve the bird traffic jam? Easy, every bird will be assigned a time to fly. Well, why don't we ask the birds what they think? Who cares? Just tell those high flyers what to do. Snake is venomous. Well, nobody's better than me. Lion is selfish. Hey, I didn't finish what I was saying. Sometimes they just argued. Finally, election day arrived. The animals lined up to cast their secret votes in the ballot box. See how everybody's kind of camouflaged so you don't know who's who? Owl was in charge of counting the votes. Unfortunately, Lion got disqualified for violating rule number six. He had been giving voters peanuts so they'd choose him. It's not very cool. So here's the candidates, lion out, snake, monkey, and sloth. Now, who do you think is gonna win? Who does it look like has the most votes? Hmm, let's find out. When the votes were added up, the new president was announced. It was sloth. Yay, congratulations, sloth. Look how happy they look. All the animals gathered to hear Sloth's victory speech. In this election, I learned so much from everybody. We each have something to say and we all should listen. Lion wants to be recognized for all his work. Monkey wants us to have food and shelter. Snake and I agree we are stronger when we work together. The first thing I will do as president is to create a team to help us make the jungle a great place for every animal. And that is the story of how Sloth became the jungle's first president. Of course, not everybody was happy with their election results. 
so it was a good thing that there would be another election next year. The end. And here's the glossary of different election terms. Uh, we don't have time to read it all today, but if you put a request on this book, we have it available both as a print book and an ebook. Um, both versions do have holds on them at this moment, but add your name to the list and then you can come and pick it up at the library. If you come to Midland Library, maybe you might even say hi to me. Um, so thank you so much for being here with me and reading this story and I hope you have a good day and take care. Remember to wear a mask.